we're all excited to know more about stock market. For today's video we were going to tackle about a book review about stock market. This book review is all about The Unusual Billionaires by Saurabh Mukherjee. These are the key takeaways from this book. They are unusual companies built by unusual billionaires. This book tells the story of these seven companies, handpicked out of 5,000 listed on the stock exchange. Made by visionary business leaders, they have delivered outstanding results for a decade and more. Most folks from the so-called premier engineering colleges today, have blinders on when they look at the tech world, Google, Amazon, Flipkart, and Apple are the companies we admire, read about and idolize. And when we launch startups in India, we try and emulate them. But India is different, and India has had its own success stories, companies that have given higher returns than Google and brands that are among the best in the world. This book introduced me to this world and helped me understand how long-term shareholder value gets created and how companies like HDFC Bank, Merico, Axis Bank, Page Industries, Asian Paints and many more have consistently grown quarter after quarter, year on year, to become the behemoths they are now. Written by the folks from Ambit Capital, this book explains how to build your coffee can portfolio 10 stocks that you can buy today and forget about for the next 10 years. An absolute eye-opener for finance guys only? No, not really. Here's a book that everyone should read to improve their financial understanding regarding businesses, stock markets, investments, and whatnot. A caveat comes attached with this one as well, beware. This is not a panacea, shortcut, or magic trick you can use to discover the stocks in which you can invest and play richy rich for the rest of your lives. Sorab has gone about proving his hypotheses and the rules he has formulated to judge how a company is performing compared to the sector in which it is and the whole industry. He has taken examples of seven companies from various sectors like FMCG, manufacturing, financial services, etc., to cite what these guys have been doing right and, most importantly, since when. He calls this diverse portfolio of companies Coffee Can Portfolio, whose ability to give phenomenal returns banks because they are held for a long duration. For instance, among many rules and clues to look for, the two of the regulations he gave are. 1. The rate of revenue growth should be above 10% every year. 2. The minimum return on capital employed, ROI, should be 15%. Unusual billionaires cover the notable decisions of the companies mentioned in this book Asian Paints, Burger Paints, Merico, Axis Bank, Page Industries, HDFC Bank, and Astral Poly. They not only focused on their core business but also innovated the way they work with time. For instance, Sandeep, engineer of Astral Poly, saw the market for CPVC, chlorinated polyvinyl chloride, pipes before anyone else did and replaced the need for GI, galvanized iron, with his products. Similarly, Axis Bank was down the dumpsters when it was launched initially. Still, as soon as PJ Andra Nayak took over, in a decade, he ensured that Axis Bank was counted among the top banks in India alongside HDFC and ACC. Effective leadership has been a recurring theme in all these companies, whether it's Harsh Marawala of Merico, Aditya Puri of HDFC, or Sundar Janomal of Page Industries. In CCI, Saurabh highlights how companies with consistent revenue growth and return on capital employed of at least 10% and 15%, respectively, for the last 10 years can generate superior returns for shareholders in the long term. In this book, he has picked seven companies that have been part of Coffee Can Portfolios four or more times during the 2000-15 period. Saurabh has a very well-summarized journey of those companies in different phases and approaches taken by them, or the secret of their success, resulting in consistent returns for shareholders. The book lays a strong foundation on how stock prices are driven by the fundamentals only and the technicals usually follow. Otherwise, to be said that it favors fundamental analysts more than technical analysts, otherwise called long-term investors rather than short-term based traders. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned many new things about the stock market. Kindly subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Also, follow our Facebook page to learn more about the stock market.